welcome to our third video in the indices series which is on the second index law which involves division of indices all right by the end of this video um, we, we should be able to prove that second index law when we're dividing indices and we want to apply that index uh, second index law to division involving indices um, of the same base and different bases all right once again the main rule applies only apply the laws to the same base so you can see here um, we've got the division sign there, 3 to the power of 4 divided by 3 to the power of 2. Just so we know, this can also be written as 3 to the power of 4 over 3 to the power of 2. So if you see it in this form or this form, they mean exactly the same thing. So don't get too confused with it. Just understand that that fraction, that, that fraction line actually is the same as that division sign. All right. Let's find the pattern. All right, first of all, let's just let's just have a look at these these calculations and let's just calculate them as numbers. All right, two to the power of five. Well, that actually equals thirty-two, and we divide that by two to the power of three. That's divided by uh, two to the power of three is eight. That actually equals four. Now, four as a power of two is actually that actually equals 2 squared. Right, and let's look at this one here. We'll just calculate these numbers and see if we can get the answer. So 3 to the power of 4 actually equals 81. And we're going to divide that by 3 to the power of 3, which equals 27. That actually gives us an answer of 3. And we know that if we've got just the number by itself, that it's actually 3 to the power of 1. All right, now let's let's do our expanding um example for proving this so if we have a look here what we're going to now do we're going to write this as that fraction type so we've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 so we've got 2 to the power of 5 and we're going to divide that by 2 to the power of 3 all right so now what we can do when we've got our um, our fraction line there is we can actually start to cancel cancel out um, the common multiples. So we actually see here that when we start cancelling out the twos, start cancelling out, we'll work our way along. And then as we work our way along, and don't forget they actually turn into ones when we cancel them out because they go into each other one time. So what we actually end up with on the top line is we have two times two over one. Well that actually equals two squared over one which equals 2 squared. And that is the same as the answer as we got there. All right, let's have a look over here. So if we do the same thing, that's 3 to the power of 4. So it's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 over 3 times 3 times 3. Let's start cancelling out. common factors I should say, and leaving the little ones there, that'll cancel out. So we've actually got 3 over 1, which equals 3, and in index form that's 3 to the power of 1. Okay, so can we actually start to see the pattern now for division? So for multiplication it was adding the indices, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I can see it, um, the pattern for dividing indices is that we we're going to actually subtract the the indexes of the indices. So in this example here, two to the power of five divided by two to the power of three will be two to the power of five minus three, which gives us two to the power of two. And you can see the answers there that we've got the same. So this is our division law, index law two, where we have a to the m divided by a to the n equals a to the m minus n. So we saw like in the previous one, when we divide numbers in the in index form with the same base, we keep the base and now we subtract the indices. So you can see here, we subtract the indices and we keep the base. All right, let's have a look at these examples. All right, 5 to the power of 6 divided by 5 to the power of 3. Using our index law 2, that actually equals 5 to the power of 6 minus 3 which equals 5 to the power of 3. 
Now you can go ahead and do the cancelling out if you wanted to, but using the index laws actually makes life a whole lot easier. All right, 4 to the power of 4 divided by 4 to the power of 3. So our bases are the same. So we've got 4 to the power of 4 minus 3, which equals 4 to the power of 1, or just equals 4. We can actually write that just as 4. That's fine there. Okay, now we've actually got our um, pronumerals. So we've actually got 5 to the power of 8 divided by 5 to the power of 2. So our base is B, so that equals B to the power of 8 minus 2. So that actually equals B to the power of 6. So you can see there, once we actually know the laws, it's actually really, really easy to do calculations. And when we move forward, having division and multiplication in the same questions, we just need to apply the laws. All right couple of different examples here now what we can see here is we've got this example with the um, with, with the division with the um, fraction line what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to write this out as expanded form just to show this one 12 times n to the power of 5 over 4 times n to the power of 3 okay so what we've got here now with our um, division we can actually divide these two numbers we can cancel them out but 12 divided by 4 we actually get 3 so we get 3 and 1 so that actually now equals 3 times n to the 5 over n to the power 3 so now what we've got is we've got 3 so we can put that coefficient to the side n to the base of the same here to the 5 minus 3 I'm just going to go across here, run out of room, so that equals 3n to the power of 2. So we've just divided these two numbers, and then we've kept the base there. So that's probably an easy way you could do there. Um, if these numbers don't, if, if 4 doesn't go into 12 perfectly, we may end up with a fractional, um, a fractional answer. Okay, with our next one here, we've got b to the 6, c to the 6, divided by b to the power of 3, c to the power of 5. Okay, in this one, I'm just going to do what we did before, and we're just going to... I'm just going to write that out. And we've got that divided by... Um, no, let me, read, let me restart that. Okay. So we've actually got here, b to the... 6 times c to the 6 divided by b to the power of 3 times c to the power of 5. Okay, now what we've actually got, we've actually got a fraction. So now what we can do, we can actually just take the like terms. So now that equals b to the power of 6 minus 3. And that's actually multiplied by c to the power of 6 minus 5. Excuse my writing. So that actually equals b to the 3 times c to the power of 1. All well, that equals b cubed. And then we take away, remember we take away that multiplication sign, b cubed c. All right, there's our examples. I hope, you, I hope you've got something out of that. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you with the next index law.